Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for July 6, 2023. I'm going to hit restart so my time's accurate. All right, I actually want to start with this box here because it has a completed column. So I think there's a few things we'll want to mark right away. Um, we can mark these fives, that's not important, too important, but um, I notice this nine looks up and this nine looks over, so there's a nine here. And so that means that there's a nine here. Actually, I thought we'd find more, but the two, three, four, five are most of the digits already in the column. So, all right, let's just go back to normal scanning then. We do have two fours here. So there's a four in one of these two. Uh, we have two fives here, fives over there. Uh, two threes, puts a three over here. Um, this two and this two, it's not quite enough, is it? All right. Um, we have this six and this six, but it's also not quite enough. Six can be in these three. All right, let's keep looking. I guess the seven might be interesting, although it can be in two spots. I'm looking to see, like, there's basically these two holes in this row. I'm basically trying to see if there's anything that sees both, but as far as I can tell, there's not. Hmm. Hey, let's keep looking. There's not much to find here so far. <laughs> um, I thought this would be more fruitful, to be honest. All right, I can place a two. So this two looks over, this two looks over, and this two looks down, so the two goes here. So these two twos join up with this two to put a two in one of these two. Um, this two and this two, it's not quite enough. Two's over here. Okay, what else can we do? We got the ones, we got the twos. Seven is not quite enough. How about this nine? Nine's in one of these two. We'll mark that. It's not. It's only helpful as much as find as eliminating one gives you the other nine, but or gives you where the nine is. But um, let's see. All right. I'm gonna look vertically. Um. Surely there's something I can find. Let's see. I think I already basically did this. Oh, I didn't do these threes, so there's threes down here. There's really not much to find, is there? From uh, from my traditional scanning methods, at least. All right. Let's see. Let's see if there's any. Um, Geometry to find, like the 741. Is there any way that can be? Yes, look at that. So 7, 4, and 1 can't be here. And 7, 4, and 1 see this cell as well. So where do 7, 4, and 1 go in this row? Um, they can only go here. So we can fill 1, 4, 7 here. And we know this is not the 1, this is not the 4. But importantly, that means this is not a 3. If it was a three, there wouldn't be enough space for one, four, and seven to all go in this row. This is a hidden triple. So oh. hid hiddens eliminate from the cells they're placed in. So this is not a three. This is a three. Um, Rocky is warning me that something's going on outside. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't need my immediate attention. I can check my ring. Let's see. My ring's not even going off. Yeah, there's, there's nothing there, Rocky. All right. <laughs> Let's see. What else can we find here? So we got this 147. We placed this 3. What's this 3 doing? Um, not much. What's this quad that's remaining? So we have 1 and 2. We need a 3, which can be anywhere. Ah, the 4. Oh, wait. Yeah, we have the 4s. 
Sorry, I thought for a second the fours would help. Um, fives, sixes, and eights. So what, what did I say? Three, five, six, and eight. Well, this can't be six or eight, so this is only three, five. Um, this can't be three, so it's five, six, eight. Oh, oh I have the hiccups. This can't be eight, so it's three, five, six. And I think this can be any of them. But I'm going to fill it anyway, just because I'm going to keep wondering what that is. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's just the nines that are unique up here. I can't find a pair or anything. All right, let's keep looking. Um, surely this spot must give me something of value other than the three. All right, how about this column? This column needs a one, it needs a three, a five, and a seven. Hmm. Can I limit anything? The fives are here. No, nothing's limited. Okay. Is anything going on in this column? I see the seven takes this is is removed from these two, but there's no seven seeing this or this. What do we need? We need three, four seven and eight. So this can't be three or four. Yeah, it is just four digits, right? Yeah. So this is only seven, eight. This can't be three, so this is four, seven. Oh, wait. Is this only four? Yeah, this, this sees the seven and the three and the eight. Okay, so this is the four. Very nice. And then these are from three, seven, eight. The three can only go here, and then this is all, this is seven, this is eight. Okay, so it does finish. Wow, okay. Not expected, but happy. Um, that's the four, so this is now a one seven pair here. Hmm. The rest of this box is three, five, six, and nine. Okay, how about these four? Um, we need a one, a six, seven, and nine. Ah, we get a one, six pair over here because the seven, and, yeah, so there's a hidden seven, nine here. It's another way to put that. Um, I didn't do that right. There we go. So then this is a triple. We need two, five, and six. Hold on, not six, eight. That's better. So there's an eight in one of these two. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. We already have eights here and here. These four, because we have the one seven pair, so we need a uh, four and five. Yeah, these four five look down. So we can and this four looks in. So we can actually place the five and the four in those spots. This is gonna be a pair. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We need six and eight. Those are resolved because of that eight. Okay, this is five or nine. This is three, six, or nine. Hmm. Okay, what else can we find? I feel pretty heavily marked up. Let's let's rescan some of these digits that we have placed recently. Um the four, for example. These fours look in. This is the four over here. Does the six do anything? Yes, it does. Look, this six and this six look in. So there's a six in one of these two. 
Oh, that's kind of a corollary to what we already found. Hmm. Okay. So it doesn't point as I thought it would because of the crossing, but we already we already knew sixes were up here. Um Amazingly, this still hasn't been super helpful. What are these for, for the column? I need a one, oops, I need a one, a two, a seven, and a nine. Hmm. One and two only. Is there something about nines or sevens? I mean, we know the nines here. The seven, we don't know anything about sevens. Hmm. Um, how about three and three and three? There we go. So that places this three. Nice. And that places this three for the box. And now there's a three up here. I feel like I just didn't follow up on some of the digits I placed earlier. I'm trying to re-look at them. How are threes doing? Um, okay, so we just have these threes left. How about these four? So I need a one, I have two, three, four, five, I need six, seven, eight. Hmm. Okay, we do need a two in this box. These two twos look in. Somebody I hadn't marked those. We'll mark them now, but I don't think it does anything special. Hmm. Two in this row is in these two. I was just noticing that if one of these is 9, then it places a 9 here and here, which is not problematic, but I noticed it. Um, so there's a two-thirds two chance that that happens, <laughs> but I don't see it being a contradiction. Um, in general, 9 is here. Okay, so I have this 2, 3, 9 looking in. We need 2, 3, and 9 in the box. So this is a 2, 3, 9 hidden triple, which I somehow missed this whole time. So this is going to be a pair. I think that's going to be the more important thing. We need a 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need a 7. So yeah, we get the 1 and the 7. That gets the 6 and the 1. There we go. 5, 9. We do get the 9 where we were hoping. Um, that gives me the 3 and the 9 and the 9 and the 2. Okay, let's clean up. This is, can't be two anymore, so that places this two. We also get this box completely done. Wow, how did I miss that for so long? I should have seen that as soon as we placed this eight, but I wasn't paying attention to that part of the grid. All right, that's a seven and a one, nine. Yeah, it's all finishing now. Um, we're so much marked up that there's just finding the naked singles is easy now with the red markings. Um, yeah, so seven now in this column is here. Um, okay, let's take a step back. How about this box? We need one, six, and what? One, six, and eight. 
So I don't think they're resolved. Here we need one, four, six, eight. Also not resolved. Okay, here we need four, five, and nine. Okay, so we can place the five, four, and nine. We can place the four and the six. There we go. All this gets placed. Oops. If I can type the correct digits. Um, six or eight, so it's six. And then we've got one and eight left, and we're done. All right, well, I think had I spotted what was going on in this box, so first of all, spotting this column could just be completed. And then as soon as you completed this column, noticing the two, three, and nine looking in, forcing two, three, nine here, um, and the one, seven here was extraordinarily helpful because the given seven just from the start resolves them. I'm almost tempted to just hit restart and, and seeing if we could see those right from the beginning. I think it's, I think it's a neat exercise. So let's focus on this column here. Um, what is it that I spotted on this column? I think I spotted this naked single. So the column has one, two. It needs a three, four, um, seven, and eight. So I guess what's confusing me is this can be, oh yeah, this sees, this sees the three, seven, and eight, right? So that's a four. Um, so the remaining digits are three, seven, eight. Now, I guess I don't have what's needed to resolve that yet. I don't remember what I placed to resolve that. So it's not right from the start. Although you still, even without that, you still can do this two three nine. So this two three nine looks in. You can still do this two three nine, and this one seven, which is resolved. So and then getting the one seven does get you the rest of this column for free. So I think that's a really good way to start the puzzle. And having this it seems like the rest will resolve much more easily. I'm not going to do the rest of the puzzle, but I'm glad that um, that opening is there. That's neat. Let me know if you found that. Um, yeah, now this row is probably pretty limited. Um, doing the rest of this stack is probably worthwhile. Lots of good stuff there. Cool. I'm not going to do the puzzle again, but that was a neat exercise. Uh, let me know if you want me to do stuff like that more in the future, like a, a more analysis at the end. I'm certainly willing to do so. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.